Hello, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about air-to-ground radar modes. In the primary air-to-ground mode, the radar presents its picture or return using a radar beam. This radar beam strips the ground in a plus of minus 60 degrees and the radar beam is pre-selected on the strike point, in this case steer point number 4. Falcon 4.0 has only modeled three of the air-to-ground radar modes. You can engage your air-to-ground radar by pressing the backspace key. And you can cycle through the different modes by pressing F2. And you will see them changing in the upper left corner of your left MFD. The first mode is the GM mode or ground map. This mode will only display targets that are standing still like bridges and buildings. The second one will be your GMT mode or ground moving target. This will only display targets that are in motion like tanks and trucks. But keep in mind if the trucks or tanks stop, you're not going to be able to see them in this mode. So you will have to go back to the ground map in order for you to see it. And the last one will be your SEA mode or C. And this one is meant to only track targets over water. Now if you look to your right MFD, you will see your steering attack mode. Right now is the CCRP or continuously compute release point. This is important because it will tie your MFD air to ground radar display to your HUD. That way they will work together. Now let's go back to your left MFD and work on the different functions and buttons. Starting from the left, we have your main mode button. We already talked about that one. The next one to the right will be the auto or manual button. This will work the range of your radar. If you keep it in auto, the radar will maintain the steer point that you are about to attack. If you change it to manual, you will change your range manually between 40, 20, or 10 nautical miles. If you want to set it back to auto, just click it again. The next one is the norm or normal this display your current field of view. The radar right now is just scanning at 4.1. This will increase it to expand and it will increase it one time over normal. If you click it again it will go to PVS1 or Doppler beam sharpening. This will, will increase your field of view by 8.1 over normal and if you go to the next one DBS2 it will increase your sharpening by 64 to 1 over normal if you see it down the T is scanning right now at a normal field of view if you increase it to expand it, it will go slower. And if you increase it one more time, the T will go even slower. 
that's one of the bad things about sharpening your image it will take longer for the radar to update the override button this one will shut down your radar you can see the T is not moving anymore or activate it again you just press it and press it again it's very useful to fly undetected so your radar will not be radiating anything to the other aircraft or ground missile vehicles the last one is the control button I haven't played with that one too much you can change your channel or your targets but you probably don't play with that one too much and that will be your top now let's go to your right buttons and let's think about those the first one it's the uh, barometric or barrel is not active so if you click it nothing's gonna happen the second one now is the freeze button this one will freeze the picture on your screen and it will give you a cue of where you are the radar will stop radiating and you can be undetected you can see that there is no cue right here and as soon as I'll press it that's where you are based on your target so this will keep moving and the radar will not emit any radiation so you can be undetected the SP or snap plow you hit it so you can disconnect from your steer point now if you go up back to your HUD here you can see that you can move your cursor anywhere you want I'm just moving the arrows and put it everywhere or anywhere you want now you are CZ is the cursor zero this will bring back the cursor to the metal just in case you are away from your HUD so let's go back here and if you see in the metal that's your target area and your steer point for but let's say that you were looking for a different target and now your square is different than where you are to make things happen faster you will go here and hit the cursor zero button once and you'll see that box going to the other one so now you're back to zero where you started and you can start tracking targets again around that area and once again you just press it and it will go back to zero and the last one is your steer point this one will tie your radar to the steer point that you are trying to attack you can engage it or disengage it snowplow will disengage it you can move your cursors anywhere you want and steer point will attach it to the area that you want to attack and that's it that's all you need to know about your left MFD oh I forgot about your declutter button this one will erase any other buttons that you're not using at the moment to make the radar more efficient so once you lock your target if you hit that the radar will erase any other functions and you just concentrate on the target that you have locked on